What 3D printer should I buy? That's the question I get asked almost every single time I go live, and my answer is almost always the same. How much money do you want to spend, and what do you want to print? So I've put together a list of five 3D printers that range in price from $100 all the way to $5,500. So there should be a 3D printer here for everyone's budget. Coming in at just under $100, the Creality Ender 3V2 is one of the world's most popular 3D printers. If you happen to be lucky enough to live near a micro center, the Creality Ender 3 V2 is $99 for new customers. If you happen to be unlucky like me and don't live near a micro center, then you expect to pay about $199 to $240. If you like to tinker or learn as you go, the V2 is a fantastic machine with a million upgrades and a thriving support community. The V2 is a medium sized printer with a build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters on the Z manual bed leveling, a hot end that reaches 260 degrees C, and a textured glass build plate that reaches 100 C. Stock, you'll be printing PLAs, PTGs, and even ABS if you have an enclosure. This particular machine I bought for an upcoming segment called Limitless Mods, where we'll be doing crazy and expensive upgrades and modifications to common everyday 3D printers. Make sure you're subscribed, you're gonna wanna see it. Next up, an amazing little machine, the Prusa Mini, coming in at $459 for the partially assembled kit and $439 for the full kit. Personally, I'd recommend the partially assembled kit. The majority of 3D printer owners don't print large prints all the time. This 7-inch build volume is more than adequate for 95% of the things that you're going to print. The Mini is a fantastic first printer, great in print farms, very reliable, and of course comes with Prusa's fantastic support. It has a 180 millimeter cube print volume, auto bed leveling, a PTFE line Bowden drive hot end that reaches temps up to 280C, and a bed with a flexible steel sheet that reaches a maximum of 100C. Printing PLAs, PETGs, ABSs, and even ASAs with an enclosure is entirely possible. Because it is PTFE lined, you're gonna be wanting to print ABSs and ASAs at the lower end of their recommended printing temperatures just to be safe. This is one of my favorite machines, the Wuxin WXR. It is one fully loaded bed slinger with some serious potential just around the corner. Coming in at $799 on sale at the time of filming, this machine is loaded and we expect new firmware with input shaping this month. It has a build volume of 250 millimeters by 210 millimeters by 250 millimeters. Auto bed leveling, of course, an all metal custom direct drive extruder, a flexible steel sheet with a textured build tack surface, and it can reach temperatures of 300C on the hot end and 120C on the bed. The WXR will print PLAs, PTGs, ABSs, ASAs, nylons, and even polycarbonates if it has an enclosure. This particular machine was sent over to me by Wuxin for free. It does happen to be one of my favorite machines. We've created some really fun content. I'll have some of that in the description below, but you should go watch it. I think you'd really enjoy it. This is one of the hottest machines on the market in 2023 right now, and it's heavy. The Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. This little speed demon comes in at $1199 without the AMS and $1449 with the multi-filament AMS. The X1 Carbon has an enclosed 256 millimeter build volume, uses a Core XY motion system for speed and accuracy, auto bed leveling, of course, automatic flow calibration, an all metal direct drive hot end, and flexible steel sheets. The hot end can reach temperatures of 300 degrees Celsius and the build plate 120 degrees Celsius. Now, let me also mention that there is a lightweight version of this machine out right now that had its price significantly reduced. It is the Bamboo Labs P1P and it's currently $599. It has a, a few less convenience options like the LiDAR, uh, the touch interface isn't there, and there is no enclosure, but I do want to mention that because that is a fantastic deal to get a P1P, basically this machine, that will print exactly the same for $599. Let me also add that this particular machine was sent over to us as a gift from our filament sponsor, Polymaker. We appreciate that. In turn, they also introduced us to Bamboo, who has since reached out and sent us filament and accessories. We have some fantastic content in the works with this machine. Make sure you are subscribed. Before we get to the last machine, I'd love to invite you to give us a like and a subscribe. We are brand new at creating content here on YouTube, and I'd love to get your feedback. Definitely comment below. Be nice. Now here comes the $5,500 printer. This machine is the Lulzbot Taz Pro XT. Let me set it down first. 
The last four machines have all been hobby or prosumer grade 3D printers, but this is a $5,500 industrial grade 3D printer from Lulzbot that sports a 280 by 280 by 586 millimeter Z. Of course, it sports auto bed leveling, nozzle wiping, 290C on the hot end, 120C on the build plate. But the coolest and most versatile feature of this whole printer, other than the massive 586 millimeter Z, are the quick change tool heads. The default configuration for this machine is for 2.85 millimeter filament. Well, we use 1.75 millimeter filament here. We asked Lulzbot when they offered to sponsor some projects if they'd send us some tool heads for 1.75. They're pretty fantastic. A couple of thumb screws, a power connector, and a quick interface change is all that's needed to change the tool head. We are super excited to have this machine here in our studio. We have some massive content planned that's gonna show off its huge build quality and industrial capabilities. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to ring the bell so you'll get notified when we upload new content. And be sure to check out our live 3D printing show on Twitch, where we are live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash loyalmoses.